Now we're going to learn how to export our vector files into different formats or even save them for web. So here let's say we need to export that artboard in here. If we switch to our properties panel, we will see that we have three artboards. So let's say we need to export only that artboard. We can be going to file, export, then export as. We can be naming our file from here. And then we can be selecting our format by clicking that arrow. And we can be selecting from all these formats. Of course, JPEG is the most famous format that will be converting our vector design file into pixels or raster image. And also BNG format will be converting our vector file into pixeled image. However, this format will be allowing us to use transparent background and same as well for most of these formats will be converting our vector file into pixels except for that SVG format and we will learn how to do that in a second however we're gonna be starting by JPEG so I'm gonna be selecting JPEG and we will use artboards selecting only artboard number 3 then clicking export and we can be changing our color model from here instead of RGB to CMYK or grayscale so RGB will be for screens or web design, however CMYK will be selected for printing and grayscale will be replacing our colors into grays. And here we can be customizing our image quality. So 10 will be the maximum quality, however it's gonna be producing large image and smaller files will be lower in quality. And what's really important in these options is the choosing your resolution so you can be selecting instead of screen you can be selecting high for printing or medium or you can be choosing other values from here if you would like so 72 ppi will be perfect for web design and maybe for some design preview if you would like to send to client and 300 bbi or pixel per inch will be perfect for printing your design into a higher resolution so we're gonna be selecting screen for now since we're not gonna be printing that one then we're gonna be pressing ok now we're gonna be exporting that one into BNG format. However, I'm gonna be hiding that background to get a transparent background out of that file. And we can imagine that by going to properties panel and selecting that option. And it will be looking like that into Adobe Photoshop. So I'm gonna go to file again, export, export as. And I'm gonna be selecting BNG, use artboards, and selecting only that one and export and we will be getting these BNG options and also we can be choosing our resolution from here instead of screen if we would like to high for printing and we can be selecting our background color and instead of transparent we can be selecting white and you can see that in preview or even black if you would like so I'm gonna leave that one on transparent and pressing ok and now we can be seeing our exported files by going to our folder and here we have our exported files and also you can see the size of each format so in that case we have our bng image smaller than our jpeg one and that's because we used the highest quality for our jpeg image of course we can be reducing our images size by reducing the quality a little bit maybe to six or five and that could be very important if you're going to use these images into your web design because using small image size are essential and crucial for web design and if we preview that bng you will see that it has a transparent background in here so back to our illustrator again and switching to that file in here and let's say we need to export that one into svg format go into file export as and selecting SVG and we have only one artboard in that file so we're not going to be using artboard and we're going to be exporting that one and what's amazing about that file format is that it's browser compatible vector file format which is very important for responsive web design and responsive websites means that if you open them from different screens either PC, tablet or mobile devices it will be changing in size according to each and every screen aspect ratio and if you're interested in building responsive web design with no coding or HTML or CSS or all these coding languages, you can be also checking my WordPress latest design techniques. But for some of you guys who might know how to code, you can be changing any of these options 
so you can be choosing how to generate your CSS from here instead of internal you can choose inline style or even presentation attributes and same as well for font instead of SVG you can be choosing to convert it to outlines and whether to embed images or link them or leave them as preserve so for non techy guys you can leave these options as they are however if your illustrator file is including images you might need to choose embed just like this example in here so if we move these options that type is masking an image so if we keep it on preserve and we hit that button to show it in web it's gonna look like that so in order to fix it we're gonna be closing that one and we're gonna be choosing embed and we can be previewing that one again and now it's holding the image within our text and we're getting exactly the same visuals so if we start resizing that browser like that you will see that our design is getting responsive to the browser scaling or sizing which is very essential to web design these days so I'm gonna be closing that one and back to illustrator I'm gonna be saving that file so if we go to our layers and hiding that type mask we can see that we have an image in here if we select that one you can see that this one is linked image and it's also in JPEG format so you might consider embedding your images in SVG format to maintain the same visuals so that's it for this lesson Hope that was an easy one for you guys and I'll be seeing you.